Yo, Matthew. So I just saw the new Jurassic World Dominion movie in theaters. First question right off the bat. Did anything that I or we predicted come true? I was actually thinking about that, the whole movie, like the whole blue, Chris Pratt riding on blue like a horse and the whole yeah. like, dinosaur war. Um, mm-hmm. But luckily enough, something much, much better has happened. We get to see the thing we always wanted to see in a Jurassic World slash Jurassic Park movie. Yeah. Giant locusts on fire falling from the sky, burning down a forest full of dinosaurs. <laughs> what? So you, you, you saw the movie? Yep. <laughs> What'd you think? I loved it. The locusts oh my were gosh. my favorite part. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's, it's such a commentary on our modern... <laughs> I know, right? It was, it, but mean, it was, but it was like subtle. They respected their audience, and also, I don't know if you caught on this, but um, I picked up on the biblical influences. You know, <laughs> I know. In, in the Bible, uh, God uses locusts as a plague to curse Egypt, and I think that this is saying the governments of the world are like Egypt. They're I just, know they're corrupt. You know, like I, I, I know for a fact I'm gonna really appreciate those themes. This. <laughs> The second time around. Oh yeah, no, <laughs> I'm I'm not even kidding. Um, once you watch this movie twelve times, you really start to see through the the blind hatred that everyone yeah. is throwing yeah. at it on the internet. You start your to see your the, eyes really open whenever yeah. you see it. For There's the another time. biblical theme. <laughs> so good chris pratt is actually a jesus i don't know if you know this but he's a jesus like allegory in this yeah movie. yeah he's like a very much like jesus yeah. figure in this story. yeah because in this movie he has to save his, <laughs> his lovely daughter <laughs> all jokes aside we both saw um <laughs> we both saw what jurassic world dominions. <laughs> and listen <laughs> Listen to us. We love we love we love movies. Chris Pratt. <laughs> Chris Pratt's he's a homie. Oh my gosh. Okay. okay. That movie <sighs> left me like speechless, but at the same time, like a lot to talk about. I can't like, believe that that's that's that was Jurassic World Dominion. Like that's what it. That was, was the dinosaurs ruling the world movie. Supposed that we masterpiece got. that we were expecting. Well, no one was expecting a masterpiece. Yeah, I thought but, it'd be like fifty or sixty. Yeah, but like percent. Yeah, <laughs> Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, <laughs> there is a part in this movie that's this isn't that big of a deal. It's just kind of funny to me. They have a moment where there's a big metal circle, and yeah. the T Rex puts yeah. his head in the circle, literally to look like the logo and i looked over at my brother in the theater and i was like ben and he he was like yeah oh my gosh i can't believe this movie okay not only that i couldn't oh my gosh this movie is like Mwah, like chef's kiss of like just breaking it down yeah and no the movie was a mess like a yeah. colossal mess absolute there were three Abs- plots i can't remember what the third one was but i remember distinctly thinking there are three plots oh my in this gosh movie. Oh. it's <laughs> like we're, we're, we're rescuing a kid but the kid needs to save the world with her dna which doesn't yeah. make sense because somehow giving her like genetic modifications from her her mom clone person that yeah. cloned her from her is somehow going to be the same DNA that's used to make a formula that gives a giant locust that's meant to kill crops a genetic modification that will k- somehow spread to every one of those on the globe. And they said there's going to be millions. Something somehow like it that. spreads to all of them and ki- like I get the whole like killing them off in a generation, but how do they get it to all of them? And there's so many things. I'm going to let you talk. I'm just okay. Say, so say it, say okay, okay. For, first <laughs> of all, a lot to say. There, okay, there was there was stuff that I liked in this movie. I mean, oh, in yeah. general, I liked seeing Alan Grant, Ellie Sadler, mm-hmm. Ian Malcolm, just mainly like mainly Alan Grant. But in terms of, of I'm just going to get the positive stuff out of the way like you know like the sound the soundtrack was good they were really Um, really good at imitating john williams yeah if you guys um, like john williams this is like the best cover band of him (laughs) of course the cgi for the dinosaurs was really great it's really really progressed it's really great and um you know like action set pieces that like were you know cool and exciting to see but (laughs) that's not all that makes a movie i just oh no this and I've heard people describe this as like a Michael Bay type thing. My, my main complaint with Fallen Kingdom is that it felt like 
two completely different movies pieced together. But at least with Fallen Kingdom, it was like the first half was the volcano and island mm-hmm. exploding, and then the last half was the auction. So it was like split. But this yeah. was like intercut between what like chris Locus. pratt trying to find not only the girl Maisie, also um blues uh daughter beta. daughter beta not only him doing that with claire also oh, locust my. that involves alan grant and also there's other like another thing inside of that group with ian malcolm and the people at the company like <laughs> this was very much the rise of skywalker of jurassic yeah Movies. oh yeah I, I was watching and i was like this feels like the rise of skywalker yeah. not only because there's for some reason the way they brought back character old characters in this movie reminded me of lando being brought back just yeah. kind of like he's yeah. here he has convenient <laughs> yeah, convenient. relevance yeah, yeah. Okay. for no reason <sighs> keep going because i know i'm gonna s- totally like i have things to talk about so yeah keep, um keep going for a little bit. um i was trying so hard because okay i'm a big th- theater goer i like a good theater experience where there's not a lot of people talking like during and 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 i understand that but it was so hard for me not to be the guy that was like laughing at parts where they don't want us to be laughing at like literally the open chris pratt's first scene of him just laughs i was like very rarely this time with the two of us (laughs) he got dragged (laughs) for a bit by him i was like chris oh my god (laughs) oh my gosh I thought it was so Cowboy funny. Cowboy Chris, bro. Cowboy Chris, Chris Pratt oh. for the, you know how they're doing uh, the Buzz Lightyear thing? Yeah. <laughs> he voices Woody in the, in the Woody, <laughs> Woody's Roundup movie. I thought this was so funny. I wasn't necessarily laughing out loud because I was like trying to be quiet. Yeah, I was like, but yeah. I, I was like, Chris Pratt is really going through his hardest struggle yet, trying to be the father <laughs> of a teenage girl who wants <laughs> nothing to do with him and wants to just go out and get killed doing stupid stuff. Like, I was literally like, he's a dad. Chris dad <laughs> Chris dad oh my gosh all I know about this movie going in is that Chris Pratt goes on an adventure to save a baby raptor because that was what was in the trailer yeah. and going into it this whole like subplot with the locust oh my and, like, word it's was so just, convoluted I was like this is the movie <laughs> like this is what what what, I what was, was like the last scene of uh fallen kingdom you know jeff goldblum <laughs> like i welcome to jurassic world and then it's like oh, was no, oh blue gosh. was over like looking at the suburbs and like it was like yeah. oh shoot there's about to be some chaos and like we didn't get to see any of that wait wait blue was but, in this movie for like five minutes yeah and wait, he has and, the best chemistry as like a pet to like owen also Dawson, Dachshund. That's what it was. Yeah, they brought back. What's his da- name? Dox- yeah, Dachshund. Dox- they literally. Hey, Dachshund. We have Dachshund here. Dachshund. <laughs> literally that, but literally, they, I felt like they thought that that was such a bigger deal than it was because it, it literally in that loose end of the in, shaving cream in that same in that same scene in Jurassic Park. Uh, I forget his name, but Wayne Knight. He goes, Dachshund. We got Dachshund here. He goes, See, nobody cares. <laughs> like, that's literally insert that clip. My reaction. Like, yes. This movie in a, say this movie in a nutshell. Dachshund. Dachshund. We've got Dachshund here. Nobody cares. But they also recast the actor. It's not even the same what? actor. Yes, it's not the same actor. Which is I why was I was literally which is why I was oh like, my. wait, they said Dachshund. That's the guy from the first movie. But like that's oh, not him. <laughs> they recast gosh, that's him. So hilarious. That's it's so, so funny. Like because I remember being like, I don't remember what he looks like. Did he look like this? And it's like, no. They could have made Dachshund's character like that. They could have like used the little boy from the first Jurassic Park, and I would have bought it more than Toxin. Oh my gosh. There were so many moments where I feel like they were like, we are paying homage to <laughs> the originals. And with yeah, the little, yeah. the, the freaking torch. And yeah. what was it? Chris, yeah, yeah. Chris, not Chris. Jeff Goldblum was yeah. freaking like, yo, like waving it around, like oh, a yeah. firework up in here. With this. <laughs> and by the way, uh, I was totally like, expecting because he, has, he really. has the torch and he throws it in the dinosaur's mouth, and the dinosaur has fire in its mouth. And I was like, I so hope this dinosaur breathes fire. <laughs> I wanted to see that at that point so badly. I was just like, please, anything ridiculous at this rate, and more. I so. literally, it's like they okay, they took the movie so seriously. Yeah, but, but the, it, not, it, it's least, so goofy. No, but you can't take this movie seriously. Yeah, Fallen Kingdom felt like more goofy, but this one felt like it was trying to be serious. But it had Bond, like like Jason Bourne, like yeah, oh my god, yeah, like we're 
we're going in the underground and there's there's like all these sketchy people but we're gonna we're gonna be cool and like we're gonna do parkour claire's gonna do parkour she's a parkour <laughs> She took a parkour class three years ago. That's yeah, what we're, that's what we're thinking probably. And also, <laughs> Chris Pratt saves Claire from this the same dinosaur with like the thing around its neck that spits. Yeah, and he yeah. breaks its neck. I was gonna but say, I was, he literally I, crunches I literally, the dinosaur's head. I was trying so hard not to hand. be like. <laughs> Because that no. was the closest thing we got to Chris Pratt punching a dinosaur, which oh is what I, which is no, what I kills, wanted to see so badly. This I dinosaur, just, we got to see crazy stuff, but it was like locusts, like giant locusts. Like we didn't ask for that. There's so many cool things. I wanted to see if they were going to just go goofy and go like absolutely just dumb movie. Which like, they could have done. They, they could have just gone fully like, you know what? We're going to go off the rails goofy. And it would have yeah. worked for me at least. It would have like, worked for I me. Feel like for it's like the Meg. Too. I, yeah, yeah, exactly. I Except feel like it would have worked for most people serious. too. Especially after Fallen Kingdom where people were like, wait, what? That was kind of like weird. Like That after was that, like they a monster gone movie. For it. And now hear me out because I have a whole like... <clears throat> subplot in my mind of like part of a plot <laughs> they should have you know they they had a human clone and that went nowhere yeah. in fallen kingdom they wait, 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 have done wait, wait, wait. by the way by the way oh sorry to interrupt but um, it's fine <laughs> but, but i thought it was really weird how in fallen kingdom they set up that this girl is a clone and that uh the guy i forget his name but the guy that was they retconned him into being john hammond's partner and yeah. then they split apart because of the cloning how he cloned his daughter which is the girl because she died in a car crash, but then in this one, it was like, no, she made her herself. Like, the mom made they, the oh, girl herself, what? which I was like, what? They you know, retconned it had, the retcon. It had... <laughs> It had all the fl- <laughs> the flashbacks of the of the I real remember. mom being like being like oh yeah, yeah, yeah. being like pregnant like oh she made me it's like yeah she changed all like your DNA and stuff but like oh. they retconned that whole thing but but him cloning his daughter they don't because she died in the last it doesn't movie. make sense but it makes more sense like oh yeah his daughter died it was tragic he cloned her with the technology that they had with with uh with like that they were using for the park and i can't believe i'm like defending fallen kingdom's logic well okay <laughs> fallen kingdom felt more like this felt so weird it did it as didn't like, really jurassic, click with me it was, as it was like jurassic park movie it felt like they were like okay we have this great vision for this great concept of dinosaurs ruling the world how are they gonna deal with that you know but then they were like we got we've got there like we, we have this so much potential what are we gonna do how about we have a baby dinosaur and a baby human get kidnapped <laughs> And Chris Pratt goes on an adventure to save them <laughs> both. And you know, he's like, Blue, Blue I, I, I swear to you, I'm going to save your baby. I'll get them both back. <laughs> so hard at that. Oh, we're going to have crickets. <laughs> and also beforehand, he went like, uh, whenever like, I fr- like Maisie gave uh, Beta some food and then Blue got mad. And like, for a second, he like did the hand thing. And he was like, Bah! Him. Or, like, no, no, don't get me started. The hand thing is literally just like you can stop any dinosaur. They literally he, went for it so hard. <laughs> because the first time that happened, I was like, bruh, they're doing the hand thing. And then I kid you not, every time they enc- Chris Pratt encounters a dinosaur or he Maisie out his hand. or and Claire. Yeah, they're like, okay, guys, it's the it's the it's the Pratt family thing. We're gonna stick out our hands. <laughs> Literally, it's like a superpower. They can stick oh. out their hands, and the dinosaurs are just like. Argh. In the first one, it's like he can barely fend them off. In the second one, it was like he's friends with Blue. In the yeah. third one, it's like he's friends with every dinosaur. He just has like a mental <laughs> psychic link to Which, every by the dinosaur. Way, though, like going back to the opening scene where he's last swing dinosaurs again i was trying so hard not to laugh at what was happening and be like the jerk that's like haha but like whenever yeah. he last i don't even know what, what the name of the dinosaur is but he lassos it he gets it tied up like it's it's like a pretty frantic scene he's getting dragged and the dinosaur's like trying to escape he gets it he like ties the rope around like a log oh, yeah. and then he puts his hand up and he goes like hey we're gonna help you. <laughs> the dinosaurs just <laughs> chill. Home. Dinosaurs just chill. After no, that. He literally could run away, but he's so chill. He's like, he's hey, like oh, hey, we're gonna get you friend. home. I just want to say before I forget, <laughs> this is what I wanted to happen. Oh yeah, yeah, it's ridiculous, but it has to do with the human cloning and the dinosaur like genetic engineering. They should have combined dinosaurs and human DNA 
and yeah. made like a hybrid and yeah. then they should have had him like like you know the lizard from the amazing spider-man <laughs> yeah, every, yeah every spider-man villain who like tampers with their own dna or whatever but like literally like he starts growing like claws and like spikes on his back and like teeth and it like it would have been so stupid but so hilarious yeah and, and, and then, then should he have could had... like communicate with the dinosaurs and get the yeah. dinosaurs to, like turn against like, everybody an army and then they should have had chris pratt using his like friendship his like bond with blue to like help blue get like dinosaurs together this yeah. is dumb but like the, less but dumb than this movie I, it would have they been so much more fun <laughs> then they should have had this like you know how in like narnia and, and lord of the rings they have like the two battles like the two armies meeting yeah, each other and battle. clashing or like avengers and infinity war they should have done that and they should have had like a big war between the dinosaurs and like then they should have had like you know the inevitable like the two like main care main good guy main bad guy have like this circle where there's no fighting and they just fight <laughs> and it should have been chris pratt versus the guy who's combined with dinos dinosaur dna i would have loved oh my word that. it should have been like Chris Pratt versus hybrid dinosaur man. Like, it should that have been so much more exciting. Well, Henry, what's Henry his Wu face? or something? Henry Wu. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Alan Grant and Ellie Sat Sat Sattler. Sattler, they, yeah. They have like a they reunite and it's like yeah. it's 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 this moment where you feel like Colin Trevorrow and all the people behind this movie were like, okay, this is where everyone claps and like goes woo. Yeah, yeah there were so many nobody, moments like that. Nobody. nobody made a sound and no it's not because we don't like the characters it's just because it's kind of like it doesn't feel right you want to know what it is it's the elongated shots of them looking at each other partner uh paired with (laughs) (laughs) there's no dinosaurs being shown but they're playing the theme throughout the movie alan grant is like moping and like complaining at every chance he gets that she's not dating (laughs) him at the end of the movie she goes I'm going to go off and do this dinosaur Give thing. Give this DNA or whatever. And and she's like, you should come with me. And then there's this moment of like pause where everyone, they think everyone's on the edge of their seat, but they're not. <gasps> and then he goes, of course I'm going to go with you. And then they start making out. And it's yeah. like, why? The fact that he's like, I'm going to go with you. They start making out. And then it cuts, it cuts back to like Chris Pratt. And wasn't there like a moment where like Chris Pratt and he comes home to Claire and I can't remember what he said, but she said something like about him being nice, I guess, to their daughter. I can't remember what it was. And he's like, oh, I bet you like that. And then they start like being all like huggy. Yeah, and yeah, then Maisie's yeah. just like, oh, my gosh. And I'm <laughs> there like, were a couple okay. moments like that where Maisie was just like, OK, come on. Like, okay, like, guys. like when they were like in the cave or something. No, no, no. It was whenever uh, like they like Alan and Ellie like fall out of the locust containment thing in the lab and then like they're like they're on are you, like, are you okay fall. yeah are you and they're like yeah it's so just like uh, <laughs> <laughs> she just comes like, in she's like did i interrupt something and then she's like oh yeah you're alan cran and ellie sattler i, lo- I love her no no no. i love her lines so much because she goes you're alan you're dr alan grant and ellie sattler you were in Jurassic Park. <laughs> There's literally moments where the whole like Chris Pratt, Claire, and all the old the older characters they reunite and aren't they talking and they're like, "You were in Jurassic World." Like, yeah, they, like literally, like, like I'm not a fan or something like they that. They should have said, "You were in Fallen Kingdom." Were you in the Lost World? Yes. <laughs> Side thing: what, one small detail that I did like, just as like a character thing between Alan Grant and <laughs> I, I am uh, just so anybody who watch who's watching knows we never call Chris Pratt by his character names but um there's one like character moment interaction thing that i did kind of like with um alan grant and chris pratt where he's like you're owen grady like you trained raptors and like you know alan grant had a thing about raptors throughout the movies like you know like in the first one obviously and then uh in jurassic park 3 like you know the alan and then he's like (laughs) he's like oh he's like he has a thing about like being afraid of raptors he's like oh you're the guy who trained the raptors like I, like him knowing about that and being like oh yeah that guy that trained raptors after all this uh, all these years of you know nobody training raptors that was one moment yeah. where i was like okay that's cool but then, like it's, i didn't even <laughs> think about the f- I, I it's funny i wasn't even thinking about like two and three that much except yeah. for alan because you there really was every time they, every time to, they said alan in this movie i was like alan alan, man, man, alan. <laughs> 
Chris Pratt in this movie is an unkillable force of nature. Let me tell oh. you something. There's a scene where like, there's this weird looking dinosaur that can swim under water. Chris and oh my some other word. guy are in are on like they crash into like a frozen lake, which for some reason a plane crashing directly into a frozen lake doesn't destroy the whole thing. This scene that you're talking about with the ice and like I the dinosaur that went underwater, it reminded me of Ice Age 2. That's when exactly the, um, what I was thinking. <laughs> Literally, I was in the theater like, this is Ice Age the meltdown. Because in Ice Age, Manny and like all the gang the gang they're, they're on they're, the ice there's these random dinosaurs for no reason that are like on the ice like going under the water and coming back up it also reminded me of um the hobbit the battle of the five armies <laughs> <laughs> where like the uh, zog or whatever a zog goes under the ice and like comes up and oh kills yeah them. <laughs> mm. what i want yeah. to say about this scene is like this is water that is cold enough that the surface is completely frozen over. Chris Pratt goes into this water and comes out. He is completely fine. He is not oh, yeah. shivering. He did He's not, not wince. shook at all. <laughs> he is fine. Chris and Pratt is like, at this point like, like he's indestructible. Like a demigod. <laughs> True or false, Chris? Chris Pratt's hands can stop anything. True. Just like that. Boom. Done. Wow. Okay, the T-Rex is fighting the, the Gigasaurus in the epic showdown that totally is getting old by now and i i never yeah. thought i'd say it but it's getting kind of old in yeah. all the movies i've always defended these even when everyone said it's getting old they're reusing everything it's now lost this magic which probably was kind of true to some degree but at least i was defending them and yeah, i thought i was going to be defending this one but it it is kind of getting old and the t-rex is, is so it's fighting with this new dinosaur and it looks like the t-rex is down it looks like it's dead but oh, then yeah that close up on the eye <laughs> Wait, wait, wait! This big bird dinosaur oh, yeah, the, the, from yeah. earlier in the movie that had this. <laughs> okay, claws. I thought it was cool. I was like, okay, they're doing like a different type of dinosaur. That's kind of cool. But like earlier in the movie, the dinosaur was like stalking Claire, and she goes yeah. underwater, that and then was, it just it screams I, at her and leaves. And then leaves. Uh, it, that whole scene was dumb, but it did have my favorite. That one was of meant my favorite for the shot trailer. of the movie, which again, it can, it's distracting because yes, like you said, it is meant for the trailer. But at the same time, I did like the shot of like it roaring at her than her under the water but i yeah. thought it was going to be so much more than that and then i it thought just... it was going to be like a thrilling scene and, and then, then it just i felt i felt nothing i, I felt know why that was there to why? set up the end battle yeah and so this dinosaur this bird thing it's like a big bird it's like yeah i think like t-rex but with a beak feathers and giant claws or whatever the t-rex is down all hope is lost and then big bird comes up <laughs> he was just and... there for no reason he was just, <laughs> he, he's just he was watching the battle it's... like oh shoot. i literally saw that and i was like they're having another fight this is like some pokemon like <laughs> monster hunter like i don't even know like they're just having monsters fight with no relevance to the plot yeah like, this is this isn't furthering some like we're saving the world from dinosaurs or whatever plot it was just like they're fighting and yeah. so they're fighting the bird and the gigasaurus start fighting and then it, it you know like like you said it zooms up to the t-rex and it's got the the shot of the eye and then with like a little flash across the screen the eye opens <gasps> no one clapped um i just want to say <laughs> no, no one record, i laughed a little bit on a little chuckle and Me then too. the t-rex it gets up and immediately <laughs> looks at the gigasaurus and looks at the big bird the, yeah and pushes the gigasaurus <laughs> into the big bird's hands and stabs it with the bird's claws and, and it's, it's just over instantly. it's just dead it dies instantly it doesn't like it doesn't struggle it doesn't like roar or scream it yes. dies a predator my butt like my <laughs> asset we get a hilarious shot of the big bird and the t-rex roaring and there's literally like lightning strike in the background i was like they really I think they're so epic i literally this, was like, like this that that's exactly what was crossing my mind i was like they literally think that they they like did something here. they think that they just like made the best movie ever it's weird because like I, I didn't hate this movie as much as we're like oh my gosh it was dumb i didn't like hate it but like in a weird way it made me like fallen kingdom more i think because yeah. it was like it just like it made me wish that we got another like because like again after fallen kingdom i was like that was so dumb but i'd be so down to see another movie where they did that times 10 yeah. like I, that's, that's what, what i was what i wanted to see okay so no this movie was fun i had fun it, it, but it was I, I had, so dumb yeah, i had a really good time with it but it was like bad this movie was i don't know it's a movie 
It, it was a movie. Yeah, it's crazy. This is a this isn't a commentary. This is a a review. Let's rate this movie. Oh yeah, yeah. Um. Oh my gosh, if I had to rate this, uh, okay, I'm gonna rate this movie. Uh, they have a T Rex out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> also random thing that really caught me so off guard but like but i i do not understand whose idea this was after the beginning like couple of minutes where the usual like okay like whatever falling kingdom like right at the beginning scene where like the people are trying to get like the indominus rex like tooth or something and it shows the logo like jurassic world falling kingdom and it's like lava this movie's logo was just the jurassic park logo with no text. It was just the logo of the dinosaur just coming towards the screen. Just, what? It was literally just the logo of the dinosaur with Are no you text. Serious? I'm that was one hundred percent what it was. There was no text. It was just the logo of the, it was just the logo. It didn't say even Jurassic World the No, it was just the logo. It said nothing. And then at the end it was like what? after they did the the credit role like chris pratt sam neil bryce dallas howard it was like jurassic world dominion but with no like logo of the dinosaur it was just like what? an empty logo like what who decided on that what happened what happened with this uh, yeah that's jurassic world dominion wait <laughs> yeah. for our commentary where we annihilated even more <laughs> yeah but like we're, we are we're gonna have fun with that it's oh it's, yeah for it's sure. gonna be it's fun it's gonna be a fun one i had a fun time with this movie <laughs> yeah this is just a small appreciation that I'm going to throw in at the end of the video for uh, Chris Pratt's hand thing. You know, his magic dinosaur calming hand trick. He does it a lot, and it's awesome. <laughs> yeah, here it is. There's one. There's another one. There's another one. He does it a lot. And I just want to say, this has to be the best written part of all three of these movies. No competition. Just like that. Boom. Done. <laughs>